Ryloth was a major battleground in the Clone Wars, housing droids, clones, and Twi'lek freedom fighters under Chan Syndulla. However, what happened after Palpatine's rise to power? Immediately following the Clone Wars, Ryloth's representative in the Senate, Onfri Tar, practically gave Ryloth over to the Empire. Tar kept his indulgent lifestyle, and Ryloth was given a position as a protectorate of the Empire. This basically means the planet is protected by the Empire, and is bound to its laws and probably has to pay tax to it, however, the planet is able to govern itself. Well, that was the idea. The Empire's tyranny over the planet caused it to rise up in rebellion within four years of Palpatine's declaration. Known as the Free Ryloth Movement under Charm Syndulla, the freedom fighter that fought against the Separatists in the Clone Wars. What are your terms for surrender? They're unconditional. Agreed. Eventually, the rebellion became more and more problematic. When they disrupted the spice trade, the Emperor finally had enough and believed if he, along with his apprentice Darth Vader and Onfri Tar, visited the planet, it would assure the population of its position in the Empire. However, his visit was actually for a far more malicious reason. Palpatine knew the Resistance would never let an opportunity to kill him, his henchmen, as well as the Senator who betrayed them slip through their fingers. And Syndulla did as expected, he poured all his resources into an assassination attempt, and upon the Emperor's arrival, the Rebels managed to destroy Vader's flagship, the Perilous, which did strand both Vader and Palpatine on the planet. However, the Rebels' losses were so high, falling into Palpatine's various traps, which resulted in a major blow for the Resistance. The Empire's tyranny continued and only worsened over Ryloth, with the introduction of carpet bombings repeatedly targeting civilians and rebel cells. However, Syndulla, with the help of his daughter and the Lothar rebels, did eventually manage to end the Reign of Terror by stealing the carrier the bombers were based. This provided Ryloth with a symbol to rise up behind, and also inspired Syndulla to fight the Empire off-world. Ultimately, Ryloth became a major thorn in the Empire's side, and rebellions and insurgencies rose up and fought them until the end of the Empire's days.